What's going on guys? This is Keenasty390 here. Welcome back to the episode of Oakland A's Franchise. This is episode number 15, the Moneyball Franchise. We can't spend more than $25 million on the team. We lost in the playoffs this past year again. That's what? We started in 2018 and this was 2023. 2022, excuse me. So you can see here, we've made the playoffs four of the five years, but we can't get over the hump. Kind of like the A's back in the early 2000s with the Moneyball. We've lost in the World Series twice, though. That team never made the World Series. And this past year, we lost in the ALDS in five games to the Houston Astros. So, we're going into the offseason. We have moves to make because people are, I mean, they get more expensive. We can probably keep Junis, Diaz. I'm glad he's gone. He, oh, man, he was so bad in the playoffs. And uh, Villanueva, we got as a midseason pickup. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep him. Montgomery, we're not going to be able to keep him. Correa is still here. We still got Correa Peralta, Howie Wilson, under team control. Um, yeah, I mean, we still have some nice prospects in the system. Like uh, we got McClendon, who's a top ten prospect. I think we have a few other ones. Andrew Mudd's at twenty one. Nia uh, Nunez, excuse me, the catcher, great defensive catcher, can't really hit, but he might find his way to the team. Nolan Gorman, Sean McGill, like McGill's been on the franchise and the system forever. So, let's get into the offseason. It's going to be tough. Third base coach decided to retire. Let's see. Players retired. No one really on our team. And Cabrera, Cano, and Braun. Um, no one Cano, no one Braun because they both got popped for PEDs. Or at least the... I'm not sure if Braun... I think Braun did get suspended. I know there was a the whole thing at one time. But I think another time he did. I Obviously, Cano got suspended. Unlikely either of them ever make the, world, uh, the Hall of Fame until guys like Bonds and... Clemens make it. Miggy for sure will make it. We're seeing one of the Astros though. So, exclusive free agents. Now, Diaz wants $8 million a year. I'm going to give him a qualifying offer. <clears throat> Get a draft pick for losing him. Villanueva, I would like to keep if the price is right. The price is not right. So, good luck in free agency. And let's keep going. Junis exercises options, making $4 million. Perfect. We would have got a lot more if we didn't. So, right now, our budget then is at 10 But we have obviously moves to make so let's take a look at arbitration Pelletier is now up for arbitration god damn it seven mil Montgomery oh he's not free agent he's arbitration and he wants f five million I think we can work with it's pricey but I think we can work with it Valentin second baseman um, just three years of service time. 2.6 for three years. Duggan, I think Duggan might, <clears throat> we might be able to keep him around. He wants eight. <sighs> Damn it. Bobby Bradley's up for arbitration. Oh, he's super cheap. Well, this is good. At least we can keep Bradley around. Keston Hira. What am I just... I mean, I could. One of you guys <clears throat> did mention... I obviously know this. You can take the guys to arbitration. And then you have the hearing where basically they determine how much you should make. Like, you put in a number. They put in their number. The player and the team puts in a number. And the arbitrator won't pick in the middle. He'll pick one or the two. So, what I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna try it. So he previously made seventy thousand, such a good deal, and he wants seven point six. I'm just gonna put it for like three five. I doubt the arbitrator is gonna agree with us. If he doesn't, he's gonna make the seven point six. And um, if he does, I think we can keep him. Duggan not as good. I'm gonna put like two for ours. The thing is, I, was, I mean, we'll trade them if they're obviously higher, but we'll just wait till the end of the offseason to make the trades like we normally do. Lozano, I want to keep him around. He's just a really good utility player. 2.6? No. I'll go like 800,000. It's risky, though, because if they... If they uh, the other team gives it to him, and then Norris, our backup catcher... He's probably going to want a little bit of money. I'm not paying a million dollars for a backup catcher. And he's a deep potential, so he doesn't have much value. I'm just going to let him walk. So there's that. Tender contract. So Robinette. Or Robinette, excuse me. 
see if we can give him a, a contract where, yeah, okay, we can get him super cheap. This is basically what we can do. We can keep people for like three years most of the time when they're making like $60,000 for a year, two, and three. Come arena, our rule five pick was great during the regular season. Again, we can keep him super cheap. So let's take care of that. Uh, Guzman pitched really well for a rook. Probably, I mean, we could maybe go like a five-year deal and pay him like two million, or we can do like, and then we don't keep him. So basically, what we can do with certain players is we can keep him for like five years and pay him like a million or two a year, which ends up being what ten million for the whole time, or we keep him for three years, where years two and year three they make like fifty thousand dollars each, or we pay him a hundred thousand basically for two years of service plus and it's like more like three hundred thousand for three years of service the first year is around a hundred thousand dollars so and then it's like 50 and 50 after that so it's three years three hundred thousand or five years at like 10 million and then what's going to happen is once they're the thing is though you also expect them to be better in year four and year five so it's the math i mean it's tough but with Guzman, I love his walks per nine so i could do the whole two-year deal and he makes fifty thousand dollars which is great but if I do like a five year deal, that's telling me he's going to be the ace. Uh, maybe four would be better. There we go. And we'll pay him like 2.3 million. So it's a little bit more now. It's like 2 million more now. But I think this guy's going to be a star. So I think it's important to have him. Gorman at third. He's a guy that I'll just do the $50,000 one. Normally, I don't go through all these, but because these are, like, actual players for us, we're going through the ones that are going to be in the in the uh, major leagues. Mikey White, he's a utility guy. I'll probably do the same thing with him. I just wanted to explain my logic. Like, I give some players, like, the two-year, this little, I guess you call it a glitch, where, like, you can pay them, like, $60,000 a year. But then you lose them. Like, Pelletier and Duggan are probably going to lose them. Which maybe Pelletier, I probably should have done the five-year deal. And we pay him like three million a year. Yeah, we're paying more at the beginning, but then we keep him for a couple additional years, which now we can't. And um, Kovalenko, he might find some action on the team, but let's not overpay him. But this will really help us get a base of a our role players. This is what the, we'll do for a lot of our role players. This is one of our catchers, Nunez and Alvarez. Who had a pretty solid rookie year. Not much power. That's one thing I feel like our team is missing is some power. If we're going to be... But, I don't know. We do have Correa. Which does help. But it's one guy. Alright. I think that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go through and just sign the rest of these guys. And then we'll continue with the offseason. Okay. Those contracts have been offered. Now it says we have a good amount of people who are eligible for the Rule 5 draft. So let's take care of that. Um, Mud, they say, was eligible. So let's add him. McClendon's... Not eligible for it. Sutherland is not. We have a lot of like like low to mid 70 overall pitchers. So I, I think we're good there. He is. I think one thing I want to do is get a couple more relievers that I really like. That I can trust. I feel like I trusted no one in this bullpen. So that is definitely something we need to uh, work towards. Now, I think Nunez will be our backup catcher this year. A great defensive catcher. Can't really hit. So, we're going to call him up to the bigs. Because we're going to let Bill Norris walk, remember. He uh, he was in arbitration, but we're not going to pay a million dollars for a backup. Now, what's... Uh, he's making 75000 And then Bradley, hopefully we can keep him around. Second base. We have a bunch of different guys here who we did offer some arbitration. Valentin, I'm okay with keeping, maybe... Not in a crazy year, but not a bad year. A three war is not bad at all. Gorman, not eligible for the roll five. Will he be our third baseman to start the year? Perhaps. Correa, is that short? Obviously. Alvarez and left. Do we need that? Nope. I forgot to even check the rule five for these positions. I was looking at the starters. Uh, right now we have Pelletier, Desmond uh, Lindsay, who I think could be our center fielder every day. If we need to, and he's make he's gonna be making nothing. Uh, Reggie Rodriguez is not a bad young player, but he's not ready yet. And uh, Mikhail's probably no, he's not eligible for the Rule Five draft yet. Oh, interesting. 
and then right Duggan, and that's pretty much it. Oh, I mean, we have a good core for keep the team together, but we really can't. <laughs> anyway, we're looking at the players that we could use. Lose are all like C potentials, which I'm okay with. So let's sim a few days. David Dahl's a Red Sox. Edwin Diaz is a Pirate. Perfect. So Diaz on. We got a draft pick for losing him. Jameson Tyon's a twin. Wickgren's a Met. Davinsky's a Red Sox. Josh Bell's a National. Manny Margot's a twin. Twins are making moves. As they lose Barrio, so he's a Rocky. Marquez is a Mariner. Bregman's a Marlin. Manea is a giant. Musgrove's a giant. Let's take a look at like arbitration. So we're still waiting on that. Contracts. We're still waiting for these guys to sign. What is our budget right now? We're currently at $25 million. But there's players I'm going to be trading that I know I'm going to trade. Like Keston Hura, I want to sign to that million dollar contract. He's not a bad player. Actually. I might trade Valentin, yeah, and then have Keston Hura be our second baseman. And that way we save a, a one and a half million. Montgomery at five, uh, I don't know if we can do it. It's going to be interesting. So let's go a lot farther in the offseason. Kiermeyer's a Met. Aaron Judge is a, is a Tampa Bay Ray. The Yankees lost someone in free agency, which is rare. Like Cano is like the one big one I can think of when they wanted a guy, but they didn't keep him. But to the Rays, interesting. Villanueva is an Astro, three years, thirty million. Obviously, we couldn't afford that. Joey Gallo's a Royal. Ben Campbell's a Brewer. Not a lot of players going. Just about to say, not a lot of players going to the Nash, uh, American League West, and then Blake Snell goes to the Mariners, and Tehran goes to the Rangers. <laughs> Obviously, I jinxed myself. Quintana's a Ranger. Polanco's a Pirate. Castro's a Dodger. Hanniger's a Royal. We can't take. Ah, uh, Faria. Nah, I was going to say 2.3 million for a starter, potentially, but no. Rule 5 draft. I doubt we take anyone, but we'll look. Maybe a good release. Ooh. Contract is renewable for Adam Klein. Uh, uh, is it Simber? Si uh, Kimber? I I think this is the guy who was just traded in the um, Brad Hand trade. But he's a 79 overall. So let's draft him, and then we'll figure out the contract in a minute. Because he doesn't have one yet. Let's skip this selection. You guys will let me know in the comments how badly I butchered his name. So where is he? Like, I guess I have to go to uh, renew contracts once that pops up. Cody Allen's going to the Astros for Jake Marisnik. Will Myers is an Oriole. Donaldson's a Philly. Damn it. So Lozano's making 2.5. And here we go. We can renew contracts. $60,000. What happened with the other guys? Peltier's making... Oh, he hasn't had his hearing yet. Peltier's making 7.5, so he's not coming back. Duggan's making 8. Jeez. What's our budget at now? 44. All right, so Duggan's gone. We need to get two new outfielders maybe, at least one more. So Duggan, gone. Let's find a cheap right fielder. I want Domingo back, but five million is a little pricey. It's not too pricey, but it's, it might be too pricey, but it's a little pricey. Um, Piscotti, 2.8 million? They can't do it because of money. We'd have to take money back. But that's fine. We could then just, like, dump the money. Like, we take Cess, but it's just contract. But I want a reliever for doing this. Who's cheap, and they don't really have any. So, you know what? Never mind. Juan Soto's making $10 million. Kyle Tucker's making five. Solaire's $11 million. Hanniger's 15 Not a ton of great options. Castellanos is making five. I mean, if we're going to do that, we might as well just get what's his face. Um, uh, Santana again. All right, let's take a look at center and left fielders then. Because right field, there weren't really any options I liked. Man, there's really like no one cheap out there. Roman Quinn? I can't really hit. Yeah, there's really not a lot of options. 
All right, court. Ooh, I like that contract. Good defense. Oh, almost in a 30-30 season. Within the division trade, too. Oh, you got, oh, he can't field. But he can hit. And he's on a very team-friendly contract. I'll take both those guys. There's our outfield. And we need to take on a little bit of money. Villar's contract. Perfect. Have Duggan. And we got our outfield all set. So now we got to trade Valentin. So we can get for prospects for Valentin. Can we get an A? Can the team slide in an A potential our way? We can a closer too, which I I will probably take. Another closer is only twenty. A right fielder, maybe. We don't really have any right fielders. Yeah, let's do the right fielder. Where was he? Here we go, Damon Roy. But I'm gonna take out the other players. I don't want that unnecessary contract money. Actually, I would rather have him, Samuels, and Roy. You want to... Okay, we'll get this to work. I want Hero to stay on the team. Lozano? Oh, they can't take on his contract. Okay, good to know. They can't take that contract. We still have to trade Peltier, too. Hmm... Have to include a, a prospect. It looks like now I'll just I, you know what I'll just take Roy. But see if we can get another prospect in this. Oh, Estevez is making one point two million out of the pen. Awesome, that definitely helps us. Sucks. We really don't even have a closer yet. So we have some more relievers, but now we got to make some other trades. So let's get rid of. I, I like Lozano, but 2.5 is too pricey. So let's just get, I think we can get a solid prospect or two. There's a closer. Another, what was that, a closer? Yep, so a couple closers still that we were offered before. Let's actually, before we do that, let's just take a look at closers and like, ooh, Festa. Two years we made him making 1.2 million. And he was terrible last year in limited action. Just the Mariners again. They want a little bit more. We can't include Villar. They, they can't do the money. Um, I don't want to give up like a big time prospect. What to give up? We have a bunch of starters that are just kind of meh. Dalton Jeffries, perfect. Oh, I actually don't want to include in this guy if I don't have to. Okay, I have to. So now we need to now we need to trade Pelletier and look at his value. We can get I want to get see if there's a very cheap reliever. Like closer. And then hopefully that team also has like prospects. Like that would be ideal. Blazik, not bad. He could be a diamond back. We'll come back to that in a second. Ooh, Mendez, but Blazik. Actually, no, Mendez is they both a free agent. And then, what else do they have? Oh, they don't really have any big-time prospects, it looks like. Ooh, actually, take that back. Neil Garrett. All right, the Cardinals. Come back to that in a second. Final year of this guy. Ooh, and he was great last year. <coughs> Vaccaro. Do they have any other big time prospects? Swaggerty. Or any cheap starters? Oh, this guy's making 68000 here. We can take him. I don't think there's enough value in this, though. Alright, let's keep looking. I mean, this kid's a stud. He's only 23. Look at him. He's going to be a superstar. I hate that we have to trade him, but we have to. Hmm. All right, I think we're going to go with that Diamondbacks. So we get Blazik. Oh, no, it was the Cardinals. But what did we look at? I think we already looked at all their players. It was the Cardinals, not the Diamondbacks. Yes, yeah, so we get Mendez. We're going to get... 
Ooh, we can get... Well, let's get... Garrett. So that saves us basically $7 million. And our rotation is currently Montgomery, Junis, Peralta, Camarino, and Guzman. And we got a bunch of you guys still in the minors. And Garrett will go to the minors as well. And we get the closer to help us out. So there we go. What's our budget now? 34. We still need to cut $9 million. Damn it. Luckily, we have a lot of guys who are like... Look at all these guys who are locked up. Except for... Oh, we got to trade Valar still. Maybe we have to move on from Junis. Who's been really good though. But we do have to move on from Valar. So let's get rid of that. Terrible contract. I don't even care what we want. I just want... Salary relief. $36,000 contract the guy has. Perfect. So now we're at 29. We need to cut four. Junis would literally get us there. And I think that's probably going to be the move. Because then we're going to have to trade like... Or Montgomery. But they both have five years of service time. And who's better? I think Montgomery's better. I don't know. Junis is more consistent. Montgomery like had to... They're both really freaking good. Damn it, this is tough. Well, how about this? Because Montgomery's a lefty and Junis is a righty. And we can have... Is Neil Garrett... Oh, we still have to do the coaches. Which one? I'm not sure how high of a prospect is, but... um, Who has more value? Whoever has more value is being traded. All right, Montgomery has more value, so we're trading Montgomery. And I want a big prospect back. No. Oh, who is that? A closer. No, I want big. All right, you know what? Let's uh, let's go to spring training. I want. Oh, we have to do coaches. I forgot. I'm gonna look at. We need a third base coach. I will find like the, I'll look at the top prospects. I'm gonna find a guy I like, and I'm getting him. So here we go. Let's take a look at top prospects. I see an 18 year old at second base. Not bad. I kind of want some power though. I feel like oh Garrett's 10 by the way, and McClendon's at seven. Is there? Power anywhere? Hunter Green? Ooh, I would like Hunter Green. He can hit too. McQueen? Um, a lot of pitchers on this. Is there any power hitters? Not really. Any other like 18, 19, 20 or like really young kids? Let's. Robert, or I'm not sure if it's Robert or Robert. I never know. I might get the second baseman from the Rockies. Because right now, our second base in the system isn't too strong. It's Keston Hira and then not much else. So let's go get him. That puts us under the... Our budget. Oops, I won't buy them. Oh, he was just drafted, so they will do the deal. Well, since I feel so dirty trading Montgomery, I'm taking something else. Do they have any relievers? Okay. If I take this dude, Yaro Diaz, he's 82 over. Let's take, uh... <laughs> the guy, I, I know he's a real, he is a real pitcher, yeah. I forgot. He has one of the best names, Brooks Pounders. <laughs> it's an all-time name. I mean, I'll just take another prospect back, whatever. There we go. Our budget should be good. $25 million, we're good. Let's take a look at the team, build the roster. And then we'll start the and then I'll end the episode, actually. And then we'll go into... Uh, so, uh, where's Brooks? Why is he not... Oh, is it because... Oh, never mind. Cam Gonzalez. I'm thinking I'm looking for Brooks Pounders, but there's... Gonzalez got to be just traded for, but he's going to be in AAA, obviously. All right, so. Um, Kovalenko, or how did he do last year? He struggled in limited action. 
Ritter, I want on the big league club. Bullpen, Abreu, send him down. Mejia, probably send him down. Do we have, how many lefties do we have? Howie's a righty, Estevez is a righty. Simber's a righty, uh, Mejia's a righty, so let's send him down. Festa's a righty, Mendez is a righty, so we want Oliveros for a lefty. We might even need to get another lefty. How did Baggett do last year? Let's have him in the minor. So, pitching. Mm, I don't love... Kovalenko, I think, might be bad. I don't know. We'll see. We do have John Ritter, or Richter, here. Ritter was the actor, I think, who passed away, like, 10 years ago. We're going to have Javi Wilson be our closer. He was... Eh, we don't really have anyone with, like... Well, Estevez has closer experience, but we'll go with the best player there. Oh, I thought Olivios was right left-handed. Damn it. We need a lefty. We need a lefty in this pen. All right, we're going to go make a trade for a lefty then. Not that lefty. <laughs> Not Josh Hader. Torres <coughs> making 1.87... I mean, if I included the final year of his deal, so if I include now Festa has two years left on this deal, but I want that lefty, and he's a dominant lefty. Now I'm not gonna have him be our closer because I want to use him to like mix and match. So well, he'll be him. he'll be our setup man. And then Triple A, there we go. A very good rotation, but he's a reliever. We need an actual starter. We don't okay. Well, Brave will just you know be like the uh, opener with the Braves. Uh, not the Braves, what the Rays are doing. Neil Garrett. We'll have him in Double A dominate. We have so many relievers who hopefully just blow up like an overall in the minors, like in a good way. All right, so we we have okay in right field is Martinez. He has a good arm. Not a good fielder. We need a Desmond Lindsay. Okay, he can be our fourth outfielder, and he's going to play quite a bit because of the lack of uh, lack of uh, durability by Martinez. But he should hit. Gorman's at third. Let's see how the youngster does. Robinette, Bobby Bradley, that's there. Estrada, Bradley is the better defender. Correa, Corey Ray. What was his on base percentage last year? Three thirty six. Alvarez, who gets on base. Actually, I kind of like how the lineup set up. That looks fine, actually. Unless we're missing anyone in the minors. Um, no. Rodriguez is probably one year away from being on the big league club. So before we end the video, let's take a look how we kind of built this team. So Kovalenko in our very first draft was our seventh pick. Estrada was our second pick, and he's turned into one of the best players on our team. He's a breakout star last year. Olivios was a closer, drafted in 2020. A lot of trades. A lot of, not many draft picks, actually. There's, like, no draft picks. Um, well, you've been pretty consistent every year, so we haven't had high picks. Like, our first year, we made it to the World Series. I was going to check one other thing. So, yeah, we're at $25 million, So, next year, I'm just projecting. We're going to lose Torres. Probably he's going to be in arbitration. Junis is a free agent, so they're both going to probably be gone. But look at these. Everyone else, a lot. Look at these guys are just signed long-term. So... That's not too bad. Like, Peralta's got three years, four years on Corey Ray. Correa's got two years. That's going to hurt when he's gone. Guzman's got four more years. So, yeah, that was it for the video. Actually, before we go, we might as well check to see what we're ranked. 24th. Not the best. Good contact. Bad defense. Bad pitching. Bad power. But we should hit a lot. <laughs> and we'll see how we'll do. That'll be the next episode, boys. Hope you did enjoy this. Drop a like if you did. Talk to y'all later. Peace.